Good morning, good afternoon, and evening. Welcome to our virtual Country Living Camp meeting. My name is Sharon, and this is my husband, Carlos. Hello, hello. Hi. Welcome. I've been trying to... I've been trying to get this couple since last year, but they're super busy. So it's such a blessing that they're finally here and they're able to share their ministry. So um, so tell us more about your ministry. Go ahead. Can we have a ministry in Telecom. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Our ministry is in Teleco Plains, Tennessee, and it's a country living training camp that we do. Uh, we've been doing since 2019. Uh, we usually do between three to six camps per year. And um, when COVID hit, well, it just, you know, it opened the doors for many people to, to come. There was much more interest, people attending these camps. So what we do is we teach people how to garden, how to can, how to make soap, you know, the basic, basically everything that you need to know that to live in the country. Amen. So what's really fascinating about your ministry is that it is a camp meeting and how, how many days does it run? It runs from Friday through Thursday of the following week. Mm. Wow. So the families come, they bring all their camping gear. They camp from Friday night through Wednesday night of the following week. And um, of course, on Sabbath, we don't have any classes, but we do have um, sermons and, you know, biblical uh, instruction. And starting on Sunday, we start with the, with the classes. Amen. So, Brother the, Rick. The entire camp is taken from the books. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Were you about to ask a question? Oh, yeah. So, um, Brother Rick, I was just wanted to inquire, what inspired you to start doing this free camp meeting? Well, we had looked at numerous ways of serving the Lord. We were, before this, we were serving in the country and out of the country, just, just minimal. We didn't know what the Lord really wanted for us to do, and we continued to pray. And we were at a point when we moved to this property, we lived here for basically a year without water or electricity. Wow. Um, and as we struggled through that, and we kept saying, Lord, what do you want us to do? You know, we, we tried several, you know, we had been out of the country as missionaries, but he closed many doors too. And, and it's like he kept us channeled right here. We know that he put us on this property beyond all benefit of any doubt. And it finally, it came to us one night through a lot of prayer that we needed to just we need to share with people what we have, what we know, mm -hmm. and what God has blessed us with. So we started from there. Uh, we started doing it, and we've had numerous people tell us that you need to be charging, you know, a lot of them big money and stuff for these. And I, and I have several scenarios that we should not be mm -hmm. charging. We leave that to the Lord. Um we had a, a sister that came from out of the country, from a, from a third world country, brought her sisters to this camp. And had we charged, in fact, they called and canceled and said that they couldn't afford to get here. And, and that, that sister, we baptized her. She stayed a week after camp. And we wound up baptizing her. She, had been a, she was a lifelong Adventist. But she had lived her life, uh, had a child outside of wedlock, and was actually accepted by her church group in all this sin. And she says, I found the truth here. 
So we teach country living, but there's many other things comes out of it. So had had we charged a fee, then what? So we we decided that there was not going to be any charges for this. Um, that we, it's donation based, and you know we we work. If we work, the Lord will lead. He, he'll he'll take care of the rest. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Good. And and that is such a great example because um, we have encountered some ministries in which they don't understand how they can make it through, how they can sustain their ministry without charging. You know, they don't think it's possible to sustain a ministry without putting a fee for the services. So your ministry is an example of how, how God can actually provide, you know, because it is not uh, about uh, um, about uh, um, accumulating wealth. You know, it's about serving the Lord, right? And, and, and like he said, he will give us the bread and the water, right? That's what matters, right? Mm-hmm. So... Yes, and you know, with your example, yes. your, your example actually allowed us to um, to mimic that mm-hmm. because when we found out that you didn't charge, we thought, "Wow, that's a game changer." We've never heard of a camp mini that doesn't charge. And then we met with Three Angels Pharmacy. Then we met with City Exodus, Jim Bueller. None of those ministries uh, charge as well. Mm-hmm. And so we thank you for your faithfulness because yes. if we see this, it's if we make this as a norm within our Adventist community, can you imagine mm. how these resources will encourage, inspire, and prepare our remnant siblings to transition to the country? And um, also with, with what you stated, when we also had camp meetings and we didn't charge, there were non-Adventists that showed up. Because my thing is, if non-Adventists are providing their resources freely on YouTube, why can't we provide the truth um, within our own community? So, so Sister Sylvia, your camp meeting that's coming up in April, I know it's already filled up. When is your next camp meeting? Our next camp meeting will be in May. Let me look up the, the dates. I actually have four dates for the rest of the year. We haven't published these yet on our Facebook page, but it's May 27 through June the 2nd. And we already have people signed up for that one, but we still have a few spaces left. Um, usually when we publish the date on our Facebook page, within a week, everything's filled up. Um, and then we have waiting lists also because people stay on a waiting list in case there's a cancellation. You know, they try to get in to a specific one. The one that's more common that everybody wants to come to is the one in July. This year is going to be July 22 through the 28th because that's when there's no classes. Schools are closed. So families are able to come because these camps are for families. We want the entire family to show up mom dad with their children you know we want to give them the experience of what it's like to spend a whole week in the country in a country living setting in primitive camping and we want the children to enjoy what it's like to live in the country because most children have never had experienced that and a lot of parents tell us that they're afraid of moving to the country because the children are going to be bored they're going to miss their friends they're going to miss their church they're going to miss their school they're going to miss you know this and that when the kids come here and, and another thing they're going to miss using their ipads or their cell phones and we don't allow ipads or cell phones for children when they come to camps we say no technology for the children during the camps so and we don't have internet to share with them anyway so you know when mm-hmm. when they realize that 24 hours later that they've been here they don't even ask for their phones or their ipads you know, and and when the day comes to leave they don't even want to leave children cry when it's time to go they don't want to go so that changes the perspective of the parent you know the the thinking of the parent okay my child actually enjoyed you know a whole week in the country so this is something that i want to do and uh, i want to add also what you mentioned a while ago about non-sdas attending these camps 
Mm -hmm. When we did this ministry, we thought that it was only going to be Seventh-day Adventists um, showing interest in camps like these, but the Lord has actually turned into something totally unexpected for us. Yes. We have, you know, Messianics, we have Pentecostals, we have Evangelicals, mm -hmm. and non-Christian people show up, even Catholics sometimes, you know, and um, we go through the whole book, Country Living, in, in chronological order, during the mm -hmm camp and every family gets a copy of that book while they're here mm. to take home mm. because that would give up great controversies you know and other other books when people leave and um it's it's, it's really um i think it amazes us that most uh non seven Adventist families within three to six months after they come to this camp they move out of the cities and mm -hmm. they move to the country oh. Oh. and most of the Adventists are still waiting they're waiting for something mm. yeah and and it, it makes me sad you know because we have this truth for over 150 years now and we mm. have you know paid attention to it and these people are new to this and they just take it and run with it and do and do do it right yeah and, and it's sad because this message you know is not being preached in our churches it's being completely ignored you know and it's funny because if you mention it in the church, people look at you like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, right. you know uh, we were supposed to, I mean, we we're supposed to be <laughs> a church, we're supposed mm -hmm. to be knowledgeable about this, 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 about everything, uh, of course, that, that LNG White spoke, but especially of this as well, you know, this, this particular uh, um, thing about moving to the country, but, you know, sad, yeah. But so, um, are you able yes. to share your PowerPoint or so that, where they can contact you or you can just put it on the chat because i know the internet is quite uh, not dependable in the country you know there's like a lag as well so which which will be better posting your information i have a powerpoint okay go ahead you can just you can um you have co-host so at the bottom of this of the zoom there's a share screen so you can click on that <clears throat> But anyway, while we're trying to figure it out here, uh, share the content right there. What do you want to do? So again, if you decide to go to their this camp meeting, awesome. make sure to bring your tent. Um, it's they, they do provide showers. Um, yes, you can. Um, yes, everybody brings their tent. If you go to our Facebook page, Jacob's Well Country Living Training, um, you can find all the information there. It's in English and Spanish. All of our camps are bilingual because we have a lot of interest from the Hispanic community. Um, and the list of what to bring is there and the rules for the camp. We do have rules and everything is there. Um, we have outside showers and um, everybody brings their own food. Uh, we do not have a website at the moment that's working. So if you go to a website, you won't be able to contact us. We just go to the Facebook page. Excellent. So, um, are you able to share your PowerPoint? Oh, it's not working. Doesn't look like it's going to. Let's see. I'm going to try again. Okay, again, their Facebook. It it's Jacob's Well Country Living Camp Meeting. And we will post that link. No, oh, Jacob. no Jacob's Well. Jacob's uh -huh. Well Country Living Training. Oh, That's okay. our page. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to share. We're, we're on satellite here, and it's very limited and and every time we go into it it's trying to cut us off okay no problem what we'll do is momentarily we'll post it on the chats on the zoom youtube and also facebook so that um and also they can contact you if no if they're not on facebook um 
how can they contact you? They can contact us. They can contact us through our email, okay. which is uh, Rick, R I C K, the letter N as in Nancy, S I L V I A, at gmail.com. Or someone can direct message me on my cell phone, which is 423 241 9448. Excellent. Okay. We'll definitely put that in all those chats. And again, everyone that's listening and about this ministry, please keep them in prayer. I believe we need to create a movement within our Adventist community and replicate this and share our resources for freely. Um, so again, I thank you so much, um, you know, for your ministry, because your ministry has been such a source of inspiration for us and I know for others as well. Thank you.